What's up everyone? This is Easy. Easy Street Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. Who is the best Rockwell? I have an idea already, but we're gonna we're gonna kinda wait on that. This video was gonna be on red and green. But we're gonna we're actually gonna split that up a little more too. We're gonna make the videos a little a little shorter for everyone. So everyone can actually watch the whole thing. And on screen you see Blue Rockwell coming in on Red Rockwell's video. I guess I'm not happy unless I'm creating some kind of conflict between the partners. Watch the partner arena. I don't, I don't know if, if you're a new player you should watch the partner arena. It shows you all the best of the partners. It also shows you what war patterns they have. It's a real good idea to get into it. I'm not saying you have to bet on everything. Um, like I do. But I would definitely watch it. It, it 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 helped me in in ways that you just can't you don't you don't get it first. So before we get into the war patterns, some team suggestions. If you are using the red drum right now, and you were lucky enough to get the red Rockwell, that might be a good swap out for you. You might want to be able to swap out the red drum drum beater and put in Rockwell. He he gives a whole team shield instead of this that one shield that the red drum gives, and he also has uh, some other uh, some other skills that might just compete with red drum too. So maybe want to replace. So as far as war patterns on red, you want to get his, his health up as high as possible. Got to be fast too. All the shield, all the shielders have to be real fast. You want to rotate him through as fast as possible. The hot choice, if you look in the game itself, you'll see that most players, 33% of the time, are using Cat and Thera. So they don't want him to get knocked out in the first round. Um, one of the problems that I've seen with, I have blue, one of the problems that I've seen is that... If you're fighting against someone like uh, the Red uh, God of Earth, and she does her skill, knocks everyone's CD all the way up to max, well, now you don't have a shielder, and you don't have, in my case, a uh, reviver, and he can take a beating, but not that much one. <laughs> what I would suggest is Cat and Whale. Whale helps the whole team out with some health. On the the left hand, the head, the right hand, left hand speed. And then try to get hit point percentage as your second. And then for the other two, hit point percentage on both. And try to get speed in as many of these war patterns as possible. Um, as you get better, you'll start throwing away all the grays. If it only has one skill on it. You'll start throwing away all the greens after that. And then you'll start using just the... Uh, then you'll start throwing away all the blues, which have three attributes. And you'll just start using the gold and the, and the purple. The, on these elite partners, you want to try to use the gold and purple war patterns so you see what you have up front and you get multiple upgrades on your second and third and fourth one and hopefully you'll get it all on, on the, what you need. So his first skill, all of, I think all three of them have this first skill. It's called the Shield Bash. Uh, I haven't seen a ton of damage come off it yet. I think I've got like 2,000 or 3,000 damage off it. But basically what happens is he, he runs up to one of the other opponents, smashes them with a shield. He, he can uh, stun them for a round, I believe, if uh, your health is higher than the opponent's health. And like I had mentioned earlier, facing certain opponents, you may see a lot of the shield bash. Because if, for example, God of Earth gets to him, then he'll be using that first skill a lot. Because he'll have the CD on the second skill and the third skill. So, may, may want like resistance in, in his war pattern too, just to, to help out, to prevent just using the shield bash. His second skill, shelter. Shelter is pretty helpful too. This is a team shield for everybody. And the shield is stronger with the more damage they've taken. So if you have some high health partners and they've taken a lot of damage already, once they get the shield, it's a pretty tough shield. So it's not going to go away in one smack like, uh, like other shields do from other uh, partners. And his big skill, the Guardian Blessing. What this does, it debuffs. It takes away the debuff on two teammates. And if they don't have any debuffs, it actually gives them a percentage on their action bar. I think it's like 10%. And it also shields the two, two, those two teammates if they don't already have a shield. So there's a bunch of little stipulations in there. Hopefully I got them right. <laughs> so, got a quick replay right at the end. Trying to keep the videos a little shorter now. This is from Jay Asset from 323, one of the top contributors to the channel right now. So really appreciate it, Jay. And right there, you see the uh, the shelter. That's shelter from uh, from Red Rockwell. Jay's got an excellent team, so this replay won't last very long. So we've had a chance to look at Blue now, and we've had a chance to look at Red and some of the stats and what he's built like. And 
I'm gonna say I think blue's better than, than red so far. Green's gonna have to do something to impress me to take blue out of it because I think blue's gonna be the best one. We'll see though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, please. I really appreciate all, all the reactions I get, uh, all the comments. Couldn't do it without the brutal fans. So, next video we have said it had a little surprise. It's it's gonna be impressive. We uh, had a huge event happen in another server. So that's coming up next. Then green after that. Till next time. Take it easy, everyone.